The overall goal of this procedure is to perform a microRNA microarray experiment. This is accomplished by first acquiring printed microarray slides that contain a library of microRNA probes and preparing RNA samples with suitable quality and quantity. Next, the RNA and a controlled DNA sample are labeled with fluorescent dyes. Then, the labeled nucleic acids are added to a microarray slide for hybridization. Finally, the microarray slide is washed and scanned, and the slide is regenerated. Ultimately, results can be obtained that show the genome-wide expression of microRNAs through analysis of the slide for hybridization intensities of the individual microRNA probes. This method can help answer key questions in the gene expression field, such as how normal physiological conditions or pathological conditions differentially affect the expression of microRNAs at a global scale. The quality of microarray fabrication is one of the most critical factors for the success of a microarray experiment. After isolating RNA using a method that preserves small RNAs and resuspending it at a concentration equal to or greater than 2 mg per milliliter, label the RNA in a 20 microliter reaction volume by first mixing about 25 micrograms of total RNA with 0.5 micrograms of 5' prime PCU DY5473 prime in 1x HEPES buffer supplemented with T4 RNA ligase 1, DTT, and ATP. If less RNA is available, scale down the amount of RNA in the reaction. If the RNA is very dilute,